Okay guys, I just thought of um, doing this video. These are all the puzzles that I have completed. I may be missing some boxes here and I have also um, sent um, several uh, completed puzzles to um, my mom. So I think I sent her five, I'm not completely sure. But anyway, uh, so far these are the puzzles I have completed so uh, it's like 95% uh, complete here. Okay, so um, I have just been puzzling starting um, January of this year and uh, my um, rate of um, speed rate would be like uh, for 1000 puzzle would be two to three days. For 2000 puzzle that depends sometimes four days, five days, and for a 3,000 puzzle, it took me three weeks because um, you have to remember that I don't do it all day. I only devote two hours, sometimes one and a half um, hours of each day, so it's not complete. I haven't sat down actually and completed one, um, one puzzle in one go. I think I did that with the Charles Y. Saki, but it was only 500 so that was the time I finished it all in one go in one sitting now I have all these puzzles laid out just so I could rate them by um, I would rate them by um, how should I do this um, from uh, easiest to uh, the difficult to um, you know difficult level or just which ones have uh, enjoyed which ones have I enjoyed the most and which ones really really gave me a hard time very challenging but anyway okay so the puzzles that I have um, I have Ravensburger here I also have Eurographics I have masterpieces and the masterpieces have the easy grip they also have um, the um, other versions of masterpieces like the fairy tales I also have Springbok I also have Hallmark I have um, Galisund I have Lego I have Buffalo Sico what else uh, Clementoni and um, Seesaw so I have several brands here so I would just compare them okay so so far the best uh, quality a puzzle I've ever built has been the easy grip the masterpieces easy grip okay let me just show you because um, I'm sorry guys but the camera won't pick up all I mean everything so um, let me just put this out of the way okay so I have this um, as you can see I have 2000 but that's not um, this is not uh, an easy grip. So the best so far when it comes to building puzzles for ease and you would really, really enjoy it would be the Masterpieces Easy Grip. So this is different. Although this is from Masterpieces, it's different. The quality won't be the same, nor would be the quality on the other Masterpieces. Uh, that I would I'm going to feature later on because I'm afraid you know it would topple down because some of the boxes up there are um, empty because I have glued some of them I'm just keeping some of the boxes because of you know it's it's just um, it's for easy gifting you know if you need boxes then um, I'll <laughs> I'll utilize some of those okay so. Uh, so this was only five dollars five bucks i i got my masterpieces from from michael's and they were doing their clearance it's just for five bucks and these two were just the for quality and just everything else in between it's the best as you can see this has the best view and this one i although this was 1000 pieces it only took me like two days or two sittings two sittings only i'm not one of those who would just uh, sit down here and finish the entire thing because i would only do this while i'm um, cooking or waiting for something and uh, after i've done all my chores which would normally be around 9 p.m something okay so uh number one for me when it comes to quality 
no peeling issues no lifting and interlock it interlocks very well um and also uh, it beats a raven's burger guys because you could um you could transfer like a big chunk it doesn't matter they will it, it won't fall apart so uh, i've been doing puzzles and i've been testing out brands and so far masterpieces easy grip is the best it uh, compared to Raven's Burger so far for me. Okay, so those are the two masterpieces. Easy Grip, which is not the same as the masterpieces. This is just their regular masterpieces. So um, quality is still there, but it's not as you know as easy and enjoyable to put together as the Easy Grip. So um, and I have two. Um, there are masterpieces here as well oh this one by the way okay so i'm going to feature ones that i have enjoyed the most uh this was um really fun it was it's only 500 pieces maybe that's why because if you if you build um you know just 500 it would be easier to complete and this was okay so i enjoyed this um uh, too but as i've uh, if you have been watching my channel so far ravensburger puzzles have given me lifting issues you know they're peeling and i cannot transfer like a big chunk of um you know uh, of puzzle pieces okay but they, they are you know really really there I, I love the interlocking quality it's just that when you transfer them then that begins uh, that that becomes a problem like you really really have to be careful when you transfer these pieces and one of the most that i have um most enjoyable is also this one this is the masterpieces um 1000 also but i just love i just love love the um the view and it was easy and um yeah there's there's not much going on here that's why i like it it's simple so it, it's really really nice i love this one i enjoyed it and also i also um i enjoyed this because it was quick for me uh not very very easy but it was quick it was quick now i did not enjoy the three thousand pieces i built this um i like i think <laughs> this was the third one i built after i started um puzzling again and of course it's a three thousand it's three thousand pieces i utilized all my louis vuitton uh they are ideal uh, louis vuitton boxes they are ideal for uh sorting because they're wide so i've probably utilized i think six or seven of those um boxes and um i i could put together um you know large number of puzzles it's just that it's time consuming and i did not enjoy the uh the view uh it's very important that when you're um, doing something you should be enjoying what you know you're doing but uh, although i enjoy puzzling this view did not inspire me so i was like uh i, I was just trying to finish it just for the sake of completing it that was it and it's not a good thing because when i went to ravensburger they did not have any other uh, image uh or theme besides this this was the only three thousand pieces they they had and this was very expensive it was close to fifty dollars so um uh for that price you know i could have bought a lot of you know but of course not three, not ravensburger not three thousand pieces but anyway i did not enjoy this and i had lifting issues on this one so uh that you know <laughs> affects the rating now okay clementoni is a very a very very quality um for me for me but uh, where's the other Clementoni? Oh, jeez. Oh, here, here. Okay, so I have two Clementonis here. One, one is from the Vatican collection or museum collection, and one is their gradient Clementoni uh, puzzle. Okay, this one was easy to put together. I enjoyed it. I finished it quickly. 
and the quality was really up there it was really really nice and uh, interlocks very well and no puzzle dust and all that stuff this however so it doesn't say that's why i'm confused because this says high quality collection so why, so did my other clementoni that i haven't built but this one doesn't say anything so it's just because i wanted to complete a painting it's not actually very inspiring to put together a painting like Mona Lisa or something because the colors are just not vibrant for me. But this one has a linen finish, but I did not enjoy this because I struggled here on the walls. What do you call those? Corner, the, the ceiling <laughs> things on the edges. Plus, the quality wasn't the same as this one. So I guess um you have to get the high the one that says high quality collection they both have the same linen finish but i just love love this box i glued this i'm going to show you my finished product later because i've glued i think probably five of of these pieces because i don't intend to i'm not the thing is i will only build a puzzle once and that's it i'm not gonna go back so some of these uh, pieces will go will go to the senior citizen but i'm just keeping these empty boxes because it, they'll be come christmas time then i can use them and they're they're pretty to store anyway okay so i have um these two seesaw puzzles they're i, I think they are brand new so um so i have made individual reviews on these so if you want i'm just going to uh show you that they these two although they have nice pictures they are really a pain in the butt to solve and you can see there's just too many facets there's too many things going on the quality is really really not okay this one was better quality though than this one this one just had like probably a spoonful of dust and which was just you know Although I, I poured it in, you know, inside one of the boxes, when I tried to build it on here, I mean, on the table, it still had some puzzle dust. So I don't, don't know what's going on. And level of difficulty, it was really, really difficult. Very difficult. They did not come with a poster. And um, the thing is, it, it's the image itself. And you have to use the back in order for you to get the whole picture because the front picture is distorted because some some of the image would be on the sides yeah so it's like when i first built it i thought this was the edge only to find out that it's the barn so so level of difficulty it's very very difficult very difficult and of course this one because you know you don't know what's going on and um quality not okay but they're acceptable the boxes are really good though very very nice and sturdy so um your graphics um they're good they're okay i didn't, didn't have um problems um this one was very difficult this frida kahlo thing uh, um, but um the first one that i built was <laughs> the infamous <laughs> um brow so that's it but it, i struggled on you know uh, th this bit because they just look to the same to me like they're all purple so um i'm not crazy about your graphics uh your graphics um what do you call it um a brand but it's okay it's solvable but the price, I've been, it's $12.99 here because I've been getting them from discount stores like uh, TJ Maxx and um, Home Goods. Okay, now this is another 500. I thought I was not going to be building less than 1,000, but this was very, very um, quick and very enjoyable. And I love Buffalo. I am, that Buffalo is actually one of the best for me. And I love this Charles Waisaki uh, Christmas. That is why um, I also glued this because I, uh, I, I, oh jeez, I plan to um, to uh, frame it eventually and give it to um, you know for Christmas for yeah. So it's it's a good gift. All right. Next would be 
Okay, this one is a new to me, of course. This is uh, Majestic. It's uh, being sold by Target. And this one, although it's by, I had problems with the glare and also the edges. Some of the pieces would fit inside. So the edges were not really, really just the edges. So I struggled and they had di difficult, they had small, small bits um, quality, but then you know the edge the edge was a struggle for me and that's the first thing that I tried to build and I struggled and um, some of the edges would fit in in some other parts inside so that's really really confusing so I wish they would just you know but of course the level of difficulty but I love I love 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 the the picture it's just that uh, I I have another one of these but it's wood and I have, I have not solved it yet because there are more interesting, you know, puzzles for me to solve. I go by, you know, Lego. Okay, Lego. Uh, I enjoyed this. <laughs> it was difficult, but I enjoyed this. It, the, these were difficult. But the ice cream, the bricks, they were... It, it's okay. I was actually impressed with uh, the Lego uh, with this. It's uh, no puzzle dust and um it was it was okay it was shiny but it wasn't it didn't give me glare problems or whatever so unlike my kodak my kodak is one of the worst the kodak is not here i sent it to my mom i built 2000 pieces although the picture it was very very vibrant the edges just all fit together it's like edges and some side things that could be in inside they all fit together so it was difficult but this one <coughs> excuse me allergies again this one was um, a pleasure I, I really really enjoyed this one okay now these two from Gallison I have three Gallison's guys um, the five are, oh geez oh, no this one this one um, it's quality because it's Gallison. Actually, Gallison is better for me than um, than Ravensburger for some reason. I just love it. The the puzzle, so it's foil. So um, yeah, I've reviewed this individually. So if you like, so there. But of course, it was some of the pieces were like uh, level. Uh, it was medium level difficulty medium. <laughs> And these two, they were really, really nice. Uh, I put this together. It was just really nice. I just love each click. And um, yeah. And this one, the succulents. Uh, this was uh, done by, by my son. I helped him though. And um, yeah, so I had to glue it because uh, that's his uh, bit. Okay. Now, uh, I also... Okay, so these are the masterpieces that I'm talking about. I have other three other masterpieces here. And I also bought more masterpieces. This one is from the Fairy Tales collection that I, I finished uh, last week. And um, this was really nice. I mean, I built it uh, easily and uh, vibrant. Everything. It, this is quality. This is quality. quality. Check their Mar uh, Fairy Tales collection. And um, this was also okay. Yes, that was okay. Masterpieces are good, actually. And this one is not as good as the, the rest, but it's still okay. It's not as bad as Zico. So there you go. Masterpieces, that depends on the uh, collection. And it, it does have a poster inside, so that's uh, really, really a good thing. Okay, Zico. I also completed the uh, the, I have two Zicos here. And um, uh, it, it's like buffalo, guys, but it's just a, a in, like a little bit less quality when it comes to buffalo. Um, they have the same price range, but Seiko has very, very nice uh, photography or nice themes. Look at that. It's just so, you know, I, I just love the, um, I love it. This one, yeah, I struggled a bit, but it was doable. I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, tear my hair out or whatever. <laughs> I did not complain as much as for the other ones. Okay, I will complain later. Okay, so I have completed 
two, four, six from Buffalo. And I just love Buffalo, Buffalo. So quality um, is up there. I didn't have problems. Uh, it had a little bit of puzzle pass, but uh, that's just about it. Um, so this Raven's Burger, I had to strain the strain my 3,000 pieces and the um, strainer. The, I had to use the colander, colander, <laughs> colander. Okay, so yeah, I bought these buffalo from um, mostly from Marshalls for six ninety nine. Oh, six ninety nine. Or seven ninety nine, six ninety nine. But I've been getting buffalo pieces also, but I've been paying full price from uh, from um, Walmart. Okay, okay. Springbok. Okay, this is the one that gi gave me. Um, uh, although I enjoy, uh, although I love the image. The quality of Springbok is just really, really... I don't know if... Because this is the only Springbok that I have built. I am not sure if they're all the same. Because um, as I've told you, I've had Clementonis that are of different quality. And I have... Uh, and Masterpieces that are of different quality. So I'm not sure if this is the same with Springbok. Maybe I have to try out. And this one... I don't like it at all. I did not like it at all. I could not even push things together. Although, you know, uh, the interlocking quality is good because it was, it was just, I hated, I hated building this. And the back, the back guys, the back, I hate that. It's not, I don't know what's up with that. And, and the price, the price is like $17.99 for one. But of course, you have to uh, go there when they have forty percent. I I I got this from not Joanne's from Hobby Lobby. It's still not. It still doesn't justify justify the price. And uh, this has the lowest of my ratings. Actually, lowest of my ratings. I hate this. So I'm not. Uh, I I will try it again. Um, maybe they will have a better quality. Uh, let me know if you've experienced that. Anyway, um, this one I enjoyed it. I love, love, love it. It's zero puzzle dust. It's. Uh, I love, love, love that. It's. Uh, I enjoyed it, <laughs> and it's a that was my very first uh, puzzle shape, and I don't know. It's just. But it was difficult, the level of difficulty, because, you know, it has no edges, you know, so anything goes, anything goes. But, um, yeah, it, it was nice. And look at the uh, very quality, guys. Look at that. It had little puzzle dots and had polka dots. See, it's just really, really nice. So, um, level of difficulty, it's really, really difficult, but it's only how many pieces? 450 is from Paper House. So, uh, I think I'm going to try their um, the other Paper House uh, products. And I just love it. It has this one. And if they're doing 40% uh, off, then you go there. This will only be like $8. And what else? This one, I had high hopes. Or Hallmark puzzle because the price is up there also. Uh, it's the same price as Ravensburger. Ravensburger would normally be $19.99 plus tax. This was the same as Ravensburger. Springbok was only like $17.99 but even then even if we, you give it to me for like $10 I'm not if the quality is going to be the same so never mind no more. Anyway this one um, it's not that quality, but I love the image, but uh, the puzzle itself gave me a lot of, you know, it was difficult and it wasn't, I'm telling the pieces were not quality, so I'm not sure what's going on with this. And I was very, very disappointed because it was, you know, it's my very first hallmark, uh, puzzle. So, um, cause I want to, to, uh, build, um, uh, puzzles from different companies so I could uh, review them but this one was just difficult and um, it wasn't nice I mean there were edges that didn't fit together so I'm like what's going on 
was going on. Uh, it wasn't, I would say, uh, I would rate this um, at the one of the lowest as well. But, uh, but this one, guys, the edges, the thing is, this, this puzzle only, I reviewed this the other day, it only has one shape besides the edges. The level of difficulty is really, really difficult because this at the edge could fit here. All edges, they all have the same size, same fitting, same size. If you know what I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just one, one size. Look, one size, same size. One cut, same size. So if you can see that, it's just one. And it had a lot of puzzle dust. So this is the lowest. Uh, but this one wasn't as, this one was the worst. But the other one was not that uh, thingy from Seesaw as well. So um, I think you just have to check. Anyway, I also, uh, and my White Mountain, it's just too thin for me. I also have White Mountain there, but um, White Mountain, I've built that, but uh, I don't have the box here. <laughs> and yeah. And this one, one of the puzzle pieces that I've glued together because it's in the museum um, collection. So it's the Da Vinci thing from, from Clementoni that was really, really difficult. So that's why I glued it because I have no intention. I mean, I only build my puzzles once, period. That's it. And then, oh shoot, oh jeez. Okay, and this one too, this one, I don't have the box anymore because I got rid of it. It's from the Color Escapes collection. Is it Color Escapes or Night and Day collection of Buffalo? Because Buffalo has a lot from Amy Stewart, Chuck Pinson. They have a lot. They have Night and Day. They have Josephine Wall. Also have Charles Wysocki and um, things like that. So uh, I... I just love the picture, so I I glued it. I'm just telling you. Uh, guys, I've been using Mod Podge, the gloss part, but I'm not sure. I've I've poured a lot. I had to get up the big container early uh, the other day from Michael's, but it just doesn't do it. You have to do it, like probably do this like four or five times to make it, you know, not fall apart. But even then, it still does. And of course, this one was the Clementoni thing that I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that's why I glued this because I love the image and, uh, um, yeah, so my best is Masterpieces Easy Grip and then, um, next would be Gallison and Clementoni and then, um, next to that would be Ravensburger. My Ravensburger is not up there, it's like my fourth. <laughs> it could probably be a two sometimes, but mm, no. Um, it has always, I don't know what's going on. It has puzzle dust and um, it peels off. So, uh, but but it's still a pleasure. I love, I love, love building Ravensburger. Okay, so there you go. Um, yeah, I will probably have to uh, uh, donate some of these. I've already given away some, that, that's why I cannot review them. But if you're interested, you can check my channel. I have been reviewing the, uh, every single one of these, so if you're interested. Okay, there you go. Bye.